Hey guys, how's it going? In case you didn't know, I am of course Alice and today I'm going to be reviewing DCU's brand new burrito bar, Casa del Fuego. I've been putting off doing this for a while, well putting off trying the burrito for a while because of a certain review I saw on Twitter written by the one and only Mr. Connor Farley. So I'm going to read out this review. It's actually really well written, Connor. Well done. I'm not going to read it out all because he's got some anecdotal bits in here that I don't need to say. He said that him and his friend made the decision to dip their toes into the spicy salsa of Casa del Fuego. How naive we were. For reference, when it comes to burritos, I was once a Tolteca disciple on account of their nachos being included in a burrito. However, thanks to the addition of the nacho and chorizo filling by Bujum, I've since been converted. Blah blah blah. The price was $6.95, which is fine compared to Bujum's seven euro student deal. One look at the container of rice immediately sent shivers down my spine. It it looked like a white puddle of microwaved gloop and unfortunately it tasted worse than it looked. Having been already rocked by the rice revelation, I looked at the fillings next. Unfortunately the chicken looked like packaged sandwich chicken that you'd see in a plastic container in a supermarket fridge. I desperately looked at the other fillings but it was like staring into the abyss. Nothing on display looked appealing to my delicate eyes so I resigned myself to disappointment wrapped up in a pile of shite. <laughs> Next was salsa and the three types on offer were tomato, pineapple and pepper. Tomato, pineapple and pepper. I can't be arsed to describe the level of apathy, I think, <laughs> I'd have for someone who would order pineapple salsa. As I'm not in recovery from severe head trauma, I decided surprisingly not to order the pineapple. The one bright spot on the menu was the cheese, which looked like a mature red cheddar, very finely grated, so no complaints on the eye or taste tests. The minute I give them credit, they managed to shoot themselves in the foot. I was not surprised by the lack of nachos, elite burrito material, but the appeared absence of sour cream was disturbing. I asked for it more out of hope than anything else and was hit with a completely demoralizing blow that the sour cream was actually in one of those squeeze containers. I like when I can see my sour cream that's meant to top my burrito and not when it's fried, dried and laid to the side in a stale plastic bottle. I really like that one, Connor. Regret coursed through my body and I recoiled with every squeeze of the sour cream bottle. I was handed my burrito in its shiny foil armour and I began to mentally prepare myself to commence eating. After a few minutes of heavy breathing and sweating, I tucked in. I won't give the gory details, but you can imagine how it went. I was unsurprised by this as I saw the construction of it. I really, really wanted to enjoy the experience, however it wasn't possible. The idea of a top tier burrito on campus proved too good to be true and we were left devastated. I'm gonna leave it there. It's like a 14 tweet thread of a review of the burrito. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I don't think me and Connor would have the same order, however, in terms of my burrito experience in the past, I'm a big Boojum fan. I've had Sab burritos and Street Kitchen. Boojum is my favorite of those three. I've never had Tolteca actually, which I have heard is good, but Boojum is the superior. So I'm really excited, but also very apprehensive to get into this because, I mean, that review kind of says it all. Anyways, I made my way down to Casa del Fuego and ordered my burrito and here we go. Here's the review. So I got my burrito, it was $6.95 I think, it should have been a euro extra but the guy didn't charge me for guac so shout out to him, I won't name and shame in case he gets fired. Right off the bat I got like a completely different burrito to what Mr. Farley got so I think I got pulled beef which to my haters I am a vegetarian most of the time but I felt for the, for the true experience I really needed to get meat. I got no beans, I got veg, rice obviously, no sour cream, I got some sort of salsa, I actually don't really know what it was. One thing I will agree with that Connor said is they offer pineapple salsa, like who the fuck is gonna buy pineapple salsa? They should just get that off the menu straight away. I got coleslaw, cheese, and guacamole. I think that's all I got. While I do agree the rice doesn't look great, like it looks kind of like sticky or like mushy or something, I thought everything else looked really good. The cheese looked nice, the beef looked really nice and juicy, guac was fine, coleslaw looked fine. So yeah, I'm kind of kind of excited to be honest. I've gone in with this with thinking it's gonna be really bad, but I actually don't think it will be. Also, disclaimer, this is gonna be colder than it would have been if I had eaten it straight away because I forgot my tripod, so I had to run back and get it. So I'm not gonna judge the heat, but it does still feel a bit warm, so that's a good sign. Yeah, now the rice, I will agree, it doesn't look great. It tastes like rice, like it's fine. It's a bit messy as well. I think he put in too much. The guy who was serving me was really nice though, but yeah, I think um, it's a bit of an overkill. 
with how much you put in, but rather more than less. I want to be full after this. I didn't eat breakfast, so. Okay, so unfortunately we have to move rooms, so this is going to be even colder than it was before, but I'm not going to waste any more time chatting shite. <laughs> Okay, I'm not lying. I think that's really nice. Like, the veg is crunchy, so that kind of counteracts. The first bite I had, I don't think I got any veg, so it was a little bit mushy, and I was like, ooh, you need a bit of crunch in there. But then I got some uh, peppers, and they were nice and crunchy, so that was kind of what I was missing. The flavor's really nice. I think that could be the beef's impact. Yeah, I'm a fan so far. There is a little bit of spice. I don't know if that's coming from the salsa I got, Maybe it's like the rice or something. But for me, it's like the perfect amount. Like I can handle a bit of spice, but I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So it's just kind of the right amount for me. I don't know which sauce I got, but it's the green one if you're gonna go. Okay, so I'm at the halfway point right now and I am actually really impressed. I really like it. It's definitely better than some places that I've had. Definitely better than the street kitchen, whatever that place is called. And better than Saburitos, is that what it's called? I think it's so jam-packed that it's hard to like rate each element individually but overall together this is like a really good burrito and I would definitely have it again. I'm gonna see if I can get to the end. I don't know why I said if because I definitely will. Then I will give my overall take on it. And also it's staying together pretty well. It's not really that messy. It was only the top that was messy because I think it was just like all the juices were squeezing out. Okay, so I finished that. Honestly, if I wasn't filming this video, I definitely could have left ends, which is a good sign. I always rather more than less. I also didn't eat breakfast this morning, so that's... Maybe I'm just getting really skinny. Who knows? Overall, I am really impressed. Like, I am getting that again. If I ever need food on campus, I'm definitely gonna get that. It beats out the carvery, everyone. Loads of filling. A good amount of options as well. I get what Connor's saying with no, like, nachos or whatever. Nachos would be good on it, but... A lot of places don't have them, so I'm not too close to like that. It did get kind of messy at the end, but I think he just overpacked it kind of because I didn't tell him to start around guacamole and then he was like, oh, it's guacamole at the end, made it too big. So maybe that's my fault. I have to say, very good experience. And I would probably give it like an eight out of 10. Like good vibes, very flavorsome and tasty. A little bit messy, wasn't excellently wrapped. The rice does look a bit unappealing. Don't know why they have pineapple salsa, like that makes no sense to me. But really, really nice, really enjoyable. I'm so surprised, I thought it was gonna be a piece of shit. I'm happy, I'm happy that there's a new option on campus for me to eat because I was just avoiding it because I had very bad reviews. But I'm here to say that, no, it's actually really, really good. I'm a fan, I'm a fan.